So guys, I've decided to take on quite the monumental endeavor here. I decided that since story is what I like the most, you know, until they started making it really hard to solo, but story has always been what I like the most. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to make a playlist dedicated to showing each and every possible branch of the story in the game. I know. There's probably going to be a lot of character deleting going on and remaking and things like that. <laughs> Just so I can go through and show every possible branch without having to delete all my regular characters. I already had to delete one just to make this extra character here. And I've also decided to start with what I like the least, so I have something to look forward to so it keeps me motivated. And what I like the least race-wise is um, Char and Asura. I think I hate the Char's personality a little less than the Asura's personality, but I can make the Asura female look a little more tolerable than I can make the Char female look, so it's kind of a toss-up. And I've also decided to go with other things that I thought would bore me the most, just so I can get them over with at the beginning, and then work my way up to the stuff that I actually would normally pick when I'm playing. So for that, I picked Iron Legion, because Iron Legion is my least favorite. I have no interest in machines, and I can't stand vehicle quests, so I have a feeling it's going to be kind of horrible. Um, other than the fact that I'm just playing a char, which is horrible enough as it is. Uh, but uh, Now, I think that probably the only thing, like I said, I don't really play char, but I think the only thing that's going to determine the story branches at first is probably your legion and maybe your sire. So I'm going to play through Iron Legion and Honorless Gladium, and then... Once I get to around level 30 or so when you join your order, I'm going to go back and go with, like, Blood Legion and one of the other Sire choices, etc. Just so I can get all the story steps out of the way before level 30 where you join the order and then it's your order that determines your story. And then I'll go through all the order story steps, like, for Whispers, and for Priory, and for Vigil, and each choice in each of those, and then I'll go back and delete and do it again, but I'm not going to film every single one. I'm only going to film each story instance once, and then I'll film the other version, or the other choice, with another character, because I'll go back and delete the one that did the other choice. So that's what I'm going to try to do. It's going to be a lot of work. Don't know how long it's going to take me to do it. Don't know. <laughs> if it's going to work or not, but I'm going to at least give it a try because I have different story parts on my main playlist, but they're not really in any kind of particular order. So I figured by doing this, I could at least keep them in somewhat of an order, like 1 through 20, like level-wise, and then the other version of 1 through 20 level-wise, etc., etc. So I'm going to try this. I don't know how long it's going to last because, like I said, I'm starting with the ones I like the least. So it's really hard for me to get through when it's a character that I really have little or no interest in because I would never play an Iron Legion char or any kind of char. But I just want to show all the possible story steps. So I'm going to give it a go. And plus, I don't even know what good names to give these people because I have no interest in them. I've got a name theme with my regular characters, but with these ones that are just going to get deleted anyway, whatever, but I figured Alpha would be good because it's my first attempt at doing this, my first character that I'm purely making just to experience the story branches. So, and then the next one will be Beta, etc, etc. So, let's do this, at least the first one, see how it goes. So, here we go, I figured I'd have to start it at character creation because that's where the story really starts. Assuming this black screen ever goes away. Is it screwing up on me already? 
wouldn't that be something? Okay, do something. That took a while, man. In this world of constant battle, I am the deadliest weapon of all. I respect no authority but the clenched fist of my legion. With engines of destruction, we have killed our gods. We reclaimed our homeland of Ascalon, and we planted victory banners on the graves of our enemies. I wonder why I don't like this race. It could slip through our claws. Victory at any the Iron Legion's war cry can be heard in the churning of gears and the roaring of siege engines. I serve the Iron Legion. I build the future. I forge the weapons of Char Supremacy. I've earned the respect of my comrades and forged alliances I can call on in times of need. My Legion values innovation solutions, efficient execution. Like our steel, we do not bend. Centuries ago, humans stole Ascalon from the Iron Legion. They have paid for that crime in blood, but the usurpers fight us, even in death. Today, the combined armies of the Black Citadel will assault the ghosts that plague Iron Legion territory. I have been assigned to reinforce the bull. Let the Ash Legion strike from the shadows. Let the Blood Legion die on the field. I am part of the machine. This is my story. Okay. Yeah. That didn't convince me to like them any better. Okay. <laughs> but anyway. Oh, gosh. Alright, so this is the level 1 story, I guess. Fury of the Dead. I, like, played a char for, like, three seconds just in order to buy the cultural armor. And that's all my experience with char. I just played through this very first instance and then went and bought the armor and I was done and I deleted them. So... <laughs> I don't even remember what I picked that time. So I'm, like trying to keep track of what choices this character made, so I can get her up to, um, you know, the level 30 story where race and background don't any longer mean anything, and then make a new char to work through the other Legion storyline until I get through them all. Thank you. Okay. Oh, I see they replaced this. We no longer have the stupid little um, starting hill where you have to have a minion present just to heal. That was so annoying. Why would anybody ever use that hill? Thank you. Okay. Mm-hmm. Just in time, Soldier of the Ghost Army has been bashing the gate for weeks. They've finally broken through. Fight your way to the front and report to Centurion Chris Knife for orders. For the Legions. Oh, yay, yay. Sorry, as my interest in Char showing. <coughs> Alright. Die, Ghosty. And of course, I'm doing these all in probably neck. Because it's the, the class that I can stand the most. Now I'm going to try to solo these all, but once I get to certain instances, I might have to uh, break that roll. We'll see. I really don't like filming when I'm in a party, though, because I like talking to my party. It's really hard to run a commentary and have a conversation in-game at the same time, which is why I'm usually invisible when I'm making videos, or at least away. I'm not going to bother like fixing her armor and all that. I'll do that when I'm not filming because I really don't care enough 
She said she's just gonna get deleted anyway. I am a cat person. I'm just not into char. At all. <laughs> okay. But I'm trying to represent all races in this series, so I'm gonna have to at least play a char for the first few storylines until we get to the order storyline. Because after that, like I said, your background and your race mean nothing once you join your order, which is kind of strange, but. I've heard that this is like the um, one part of Living World where you fight the statue. But like I said, I've only played Char once and it was only for a second, just long enough to get the cultural armor mastery point. Howl of the Brazen. I'm pretty sure I picked Uriel. I guess they're all here. I don't know. Max is kind of an odd choice to start with. But oh well. Doesn't really matter, I suppose. None of it matters, and I'm just going to delete her once she gets to level 30. Ghostly minions. Okay, sure. That sounds fun. So yeah, even though this is like the level 1 story, this is the first time I think I've done this, because I don't really play a char. Although there is an achievement for um, playing all the storylines and all the races, and it's one of the achievements I've never gotten, because I could never bring myself to play Char or Sora. So used to pressing other buttons. I don't have any other buttons to press. I thought we fought the statue. At least that's what I thought if somebody said. Oh well, whatever. Hey, we got a friend. Let me guess, you jump into the statue now, right? first character was a human. My first Sadie was a human. Kinda hard for me to cheer for you guys. Um, he just, like, feared me into the wall. That's cute. What about all these dudes? Am I supposed to ignore them? I guess so. He's not going invulnerable, so I guess we just keep killing him. Back to Smokestead. <laughs> you know, after my three hour load screen, I'll get there. 
Hope there wasn't a time limit on that reporting back. Take it up with my load screen. Fury of the Dead. Now I get another axe. Okay. So, I'm gonna have to get this character to I guess level 10 before I can do the next part of the story and I just gave all my tomes to Guildhall so it's going to be interesting. So, I will see you when I get her to level 10 and continue with the Iron Legion slash Honorless Gladium Sire storylines until we get to the um, Order of Whispers or Vigil or Priory or whatever. I'll probably do Priory first because I hate it the most. So anyway, we will see you in the next video. Some of these are probably going to be pretty short because I'm going to stick it to one instance per video. And um, just that way it'll be easier to separate them and find what you're looking for. Anyway, that's it for this video and I will see you after she hits level 10.